Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 25th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra series. In this tutorial, I'll be simplifying this variable expression here. So the way we're going to simplify this is we're going to apply the distributive property to this part, and then we'll apply the distributive property to this part. We will simplify the terms as much as we can, and then we will combine like terms, and then we will have our simplified answer. So let's go ahead and do that. So the first thing, we're going to distribute the 5 into the first term here. So this becomes 5 times 6x squared y. So 5 times 6x squared y. Then we put the addition sign here. And now we distribute into the next term. 5 times y. Now we've taken care of this part of our expression. So then we put the addition sign here and distribute 3y into the first term here. So this is 3y times negative 2x squared, negative 2x squared. And then we put our subtraction sign here. And then we distribute the 3y into the 5. So this becomes 3y times 5. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look at each term and we're going to multiply the numbers together in each of our terms. So in this first term we have 5 times 6. 5 times 6 is 30. And then we just rewrite the x squared y. And we only have the number 5 here, so we're just going to rewrite this guy how it is. 5y. And then plus, now we have a 3 and a negative 2. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. And then we're left with y and x squared. Now we can write these in any order. So we're going to go ahead and just write the x squared first and then the y. And the reason why I'm doing that is I'd like this term to match the first one so that we can combine them a little bit later. So now we have this last term here. And this last term is a 3 times a 5. We're going to put the subtraction sign here. And then 3 times 5 is 15 and then we put our y down. So now we just simply have to simplify this term a little bit. So when you add a negative number, it's the same thing as subtracting. So we're going to rewrite everything the same here and change that one term. So plus 5y, and then now we're going to do minus 6x squared y minus 15y. So now we have four different terms. And these two are like terms, and these two are like terms. The reason why is because this term has x squared y, and so does this one. And these two are like terms because they both have the y. So let's go ahead and write the like terms side by side so it's easier to see. So we have 30x squared y, and then we're going to move this term, minus 6x squared y. And now we have the plus 5y. We're going to write next to the minus 15y. So we have an x squared y and an x squared y. So we can simply add, or in this case, subtract the coefficients. 30 minus 6 is 24. And then they're both x squared y. So we just write x squared y. And then we have a 5y minus a 15y. 5 minus 15 is minus 10 and we write down the y so this right here is our simplified expression so basically the 24 x squared y minus 10 y is equal to what I started with right here the 5 multiplied by 6 x squared y plus 5 y in parentheses plus 3 y multiplied by the quantity of a negative 2 x squared minus 5 is exactly the same thing as writing 24x squared y minus 10y. So this is just a simplified form of what we started with. So anyway, that's how you can simplify a variable expression. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos in the Intermediate Algebra series. Next up, I'm going to be covering sets and I'm going to be covering inequalities. So stay tuned for that. You guys have an excellent day. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.